So I'm starting to hear some stags peeling from pretty far out. But it seems like an appropriate time to start calling. I'm going to do a blast of three bugles. Well, I shut the motor down because it was making a clinking noise. One of these bolts came loose, that guy. But now she won't start back up. You know, I'm about two miles away from each shore. So that's not good. Let's see if this thing will fire up. God, I brought supplies, but this is gonna suck. God, there's the camper.
I'm in the marsh and uh, on my way in around noon I had a four point stag at 25 yards I was on the ground took a shot and I missed it was a nice stag didn't have time to pull the GoPro out for that it was just right in front of me. I just blew it. So, I'm going to go again, see what happens. I'm in a marsh pretty deep in. There's only a couple trees around here you can shoot from. The wind's good. A lot of trails come to this little area right here. So I'm feeling pretty good. Once the sun starts to set a little bit, I'm going to start bugling and see if I can bring something in. Well, that was a very exciting hunt. This is my third year and the first time I've actually encountered stags, let alone had a shot on a stag. So, made a lot of progress. Made a couple rookie mistakes on my part. And, uh, you know, uh, the first mistake I made was rushing the shot on that first stag. I just kind of waited for him to get through an opening and pulled back and didn't really take my time with the shot and missed it. Second mistake was when that second stag came in at the end of uh, Thursday night. I was trying to fiddle with my camera and I bumped my bow on my climber and it got his attention. And then I kept moving trying to record it afterwards and it cost me a stag. He was coming right for me. He was at 35 yards. so. Yeah, a lot of misses right there. A lot of missed opportunities, but a lot of learning opportunities. And I hope the people watching this will, you know, learn from the, my mistakes. This is why I'm making these videos. Um, and then Seth had, that dude can overcome a lot of adversity. His boat breaking down, you know, missing a stag, keep going after it, missing it again. He just doesn't quit, and that's one thing you need to have to be a, a bow hunter is you just you cannot give up no matter what. So one last thing, I just wanted to uh, thank you guys so much for uh, the love you guys showed on my last longbow video. I know you guys could have roasted me terribly, you know, and there was some good honest criticism in there, but every one of those comments ended in you know encouragement, and you know that's that's a really awesome thing to see in here. And um, Eastern Shore guys give me your input on this like 
calling, uh, setups, uh, whatever you guys know. You know, if you have any input or insight, please let me know on this, on the comments of this video. Um, I just thank you guys and welcome to all the new subscribers. Stay tuned for next week's video. Will the curse be broken? That is the question. Feel a freezer, stack it up with a steady hand